Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Kobolds and Catacombs expansion, this time with our third and final match of our Spell Hunter deck. That's right, it happened and I love it. Spell Hunter, it turns out, is a thing in this expansion, and it's actually a pretty good deck. It was originally one of the top ones. Now that the meta's sh settled a little bit more, I'd say it's in the higher end of tier two. Um, I've been having a really good time with it so far. We've won both of our matches uh, that we've recorded so far, and hopefully uh, we're going to win our third one now. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and jump in and see what kind of luck we get. Rexa versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Let the hunt begin. All right, we got a warlock. Um, I actually think we could do pretty well here. Explosive trap. I'm going to keep it in my opening hand. Normally I would not keep explosive trap, especially since this deck only runs one, but Explosive Trap is pretty darn good in the early game against what is uh, either, a, well, I don't know if it's a Control Lock or a Zoo Lock, but if it's a Zoo Lock, it'll be nice to have the Explosive Trap. Yeah, it is a Zoo Lock. We'll take a hit or two before we worry about uh, putting down the trap. We'll start with a uh, Wandering Monster. It's almost impossible that our Wandering Monster survives the first attack here, but you never know. Oh my god, it did. Hilarious. He's probably gonna mortal coil it, but what did I get even? Benevolent genie. Oh, that's a good card. Stonehill, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Um, fortunately for me, I can full. Oh no, can't flanking strike next turn, and I don't have a beast, so actually, nothing fortunate for me. Not a whole lot that I can do about that. I could deadly shot, but that seems like I crying waste of a deadly shot. Then again, at this point in the game, maybe it's worth it just to get that thing out of there. We do run two kill commands and two deadly shots in this deck as well as a Hunter's Mark. I wonder. I'm gonna do it. Don't ever do what I just did. I'm gambling it. I think we're gonna hurt, impact this guy's ability to get his board going pretty heavily by removing his first two minions. Especially because he coined into that one, so his coin was basically... Yeah. So, flanking strike here. Or... Hmm. I don't want to waste kill command as well now. We'll just do flanking strike and then trade our minion. So it'll leave us with a board advantage still. Cool. Uh, and then <clears throat> hopefully we're going to start drawing some of our more uh, mid-game cards here pretty soon. Kill Command, like this hand right now is not ideal. We'll see if our minion survives. Maybe we can do like a Kill Command, but... Okay, minion survived, but... Hmm. Oh, we're just going to on the hunt that thing. Hey, there's an endgame card. Uh, we're just going to on the hunt into Freezing Trap in case of a... What you call it? Um, is it the Dreadlord? I can't remember. Whichever demon it is that has charge. Uh, just in case of that, because that's a five drop. And that will bounce it back to his hand and burn the two cards, which I think would be a bit of a bummer for him. So far, though, we've controlled him pretty epically. We're still at 30, and he's at 16, and he has nothing on the board. I'm um, hoping we don't see, like, a Hellfire here. That'd be a little sad. Nope. Shrieking shrew. No, it is a straight up uh, Zulok. Well, I am going to Explosive Trap. Then I'm going to Tracking, see what we get. Um, actually, Candle Shot is good here. I'll take Candle Shot. And we'll use it. And we can also shoot it. So I'm going to do this. And we'll see if he's smart enough to put two and two together and uh, attack after. Or if he's smart enough to attack before he plays any minions. But you gotta be that smart. Actually, I wonder how this... Uh, that was maybe a bad combination of secrets. I wonder if it's gonna return his um, one of his minions to his hand before it does the, fl the uh, board clear. Regardless, we have lethal, so... GG! Oh, nice, we got the uh, one that I actually wanted to die for sure. 
No, our lethal. Oh man, now we really don't have lethal. Last time we can shot, I guess. And there's the Doom Guard, too late. Oh my god, that's what I wanted to hit with the Frost Trap, god dang it. Well, I could kill Command that way, just hit him for another two, actually, so. Cat Trick is okay. It's not the best thing ever, but it will be if we can um, get him to trigger it. I need him to play a spell. I don't think he will, though. This is a Zulok. There's a pr it's pretty unlikely. Especially since I have no targets on the board. So, we need to survive another two turns. Oh wait, no we don't. What am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I don't need a beast for kill command and then hero power. As long as he doesn't heal, we've won. And there you have it. We've won. Let's flare. Flare! Okay, can't do anything else messing around. Oh, I'm so tempted to play to my side. But there's a chance that I wouldn't get lethal then. Uh, so we're gonna shoot him and kill command. Hooray! Spell Hunter, three for three. You guys, this deck is so fun to play. I highly recommend making it if you're looking for a new take on Hunter. We got down to rank 15, not bad. Three games, three ranks. Um, yeah, there you have it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.